Now, the Palestinian territories of the West Bank are on the boil. According to the Palestinian Health Ministry, at least about three Palestinians were killed by the Israeli forces near the city of Jenin. Now, according to local sources, the Israelis again raided the village of Jabba, where gunfire was exchanged. Now, according to reports that have come in, the Israelis have also arrested one person before withdrawing from the Palestinian territories. Meanwhile, Israel's security minister, Itamar ben Gvir has also confirmed the death of three Palestinian people and has hailed what he has described as the elimination of those who opened fire on the Israeli fighters. Hamas is informed that the Israeli forces targeted a group called the Jabba Brigade and killed its leader. The incident has come just days after the Israeli forces had raided a refugee camp and had killed six Palestinians back then. The Israeli armed raids have been going on ever since February last year. The United Nations had earlier urged both sides to end this worsening cycle of violence. And to get us more perspective in terms of what exactly is happening at this moment in the Palestinian territories, we're being joined in by our correspondent Jody Cohen, who's joining us live from Kafar Sabah, one of the venues of the protest. Now, Jody brings up to speed with what's actually happening. There have been reports of these raids that have been carried out again in Jenin. Tell us what's happened there. Hi, Mohammed. Yes, so there have been reportedly more raids from the Israel Defense Forces into the Palestinian territories. Israel would say that they wouldn't need to go into the territories if the Palestinian Authority was taking control of the situation there. The Palestinian Authority, of course, would say that Israel and the occupation is at the root cause of all of this. Meanwhile, I am at the Kfar Saba protest, as you said. It started in the center of town, and now I'm in the high-tech district, where high-tech workers are taking time out of their day to come and protest. We're at a main junction here in the central city of Kfar Saba. The police are around. They're aware that the roads have been blocked. They seem to have drones overhead, so they've managed to redirect the traffic. So not causing too much disruption. The cars that are going past, some are beeping their horns in support of the protesters. Some are clearly showing that they don't agree with them at all. Meanwhile, we know that the protesters have blocked the entrance to Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv, where U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is due to arrive at lunchtime local time today. Now, he was supposed to arrive last night and to stay in Jerusalem and have meetings there with the Prime Minister and with the Defence Minister. His trip then got postponed to this morning, and then we got another message saying that it had been delayed again to lunchtime, and that is thought to be because of these disruptions going on across the country. Absolutely indeed, Jody. There is a lot that, of course, is going on in Israel and Palestine at this moment, and also the protests that are presently ongoing in Israel on all host of different issues. But talking about this raid that took place in the Palestinian territory of Jenin, the fact is these raids by the Israeli forces have been ongoing since at least February last year. Israel claims that these are often uh, cases where they are raiding people to try and prevent an act of violence from happening. Do we at this point of time know at all as to how long these violent raids will continue inside the Palestinian territories? So that remains to be seen. But as you said, these have been going on over the past year, and that was under the last government too. So what Israel is saying is we saw a spate of terror attacks just over a year ago. And Israel is saying that the Palestinian Authority has really lost control in the Northern West Bank and says that until the Palestinian Authority takes back control, they have to go into these areas. Now, which areas are we talking about? We're talking about areas that are actually under Palestinian Authority autonomy and israel is saying has been saying under defense minister benny gantz in the previous administration and of course under the current administration has been saying to the palestinian authority that if you don't go in and take control of the terrorists that israel will have to go in in order to protect its citizens but of course as we know the raids are taking place in areas like jenin which are condensed and um, they do send text messages to the residents there but sometimes that we have seen some daytime raids and sometimes we are seeing people just passing by who are also getting hurt. The majority of the people, though, we're hearing are involved 
in fighting at the uh, Israeli soldiers. They're involved in the firefight. Um, but it does remain to be seen. That is the question. How long will this cycle of violence go on? We're seeing Israel saying that there's reported intelligence on terror attacks. They're going into the territory. They're aiming for the terrorists. Other people are getting hurt. Then we're seeing firefights. We're seeing the violence spread. We're seeing Gaza responds often with rockets into southern Israel. And the cycle continues. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Joey, for joining us and getting us all those insights. It was very, very noisy in the place where you are at the protest site. But thank you very much indeed for joining us and getting us all those insights. This, of course, is a story that we will continue to track. There was what will be described as a preemptive strike that took place by the Israeli forces again in the Palestinian territories of Jenin. Remember, these are preemptive strikes where the Israeli forces claim that they are moving into the Palestinian territories to stop a crime before it happens. And in the interim, there are collateral deaths that are also happening. There are almost over 70 deaths in the Palestinian territories that have happened since the beginning of this year, 14 of which reportedly were women and children. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.